you know, the convention is officially called to order at 945. We're going to have some interesting things today. And I think that, um, I hope when we all leave here today, no matter what, we we'll leave here knowing that the Republican Party is marching forward and we're marching forward together. At this time, I'd like to ask that Mr. Chris Morrow, a young Republican, the second vice chair of Hayden County, will lead us in the invocation. Heavenly Father, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, God who inspired our founders to seek freedom, God who accompanied President Lincoln to Gettysburg, and gave Ronald Reagan the courage to say, tear down this wall. We gather in unity and goodwill before you seeking your counsel. Father, we face an enemy who seeks to destroy our freedom and weaken our country and oppress us not only as a party, but as a people. An enemy that seeks to make us ashamed of not only being Americans, but call us intolerant because we call on your counsel, this is the counsel of man. Father, embolden us to stand together as one party and one people. Let us not be offended by new ideas, but not afraid to defend the old ones. Father, we know our cause is just. Our party isn't a perfect one, we know, Father, but it's the party of moral integrity. And Lord, today we pray that you will help us not lose that vision. Finally, Father, please help us to not let personal agendas weaken our causes and defenses. Let us always be thankful for our freedom, but please let us always be thankful for our salvation. Father, we personally thank you for sending your son, Jesus, to die in our place, to give us spiritual freedom and liberty. Father, we know the Bible says that he that is in you is greater than he is in the world. It also says that we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places, and to put on the whole armor of God. We also know that it says if we turn from our wicked ways and seek your face, you will hear our cries and heal our land. Father, we lift up our cry and pray for your healing. Give us the strength to do our part and give us the courage to tear down all the walls we face. For it is in the highest name we pray, the high and victorious name of our risen Lord and Savior, Jesus, whom we call to Christ. Amen. Amen. <coughs> Next, I'd like to ask Ms. Donna Every to come up. She's the daughter of Polk County Chairman Cheryl Every to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Thank you. 